I think it's just like the cherry on top of my perfect season. And I proved myself I can do it even with all the pressure and all the people cheering for me. And yeah, it was just super exciting. Well, Yuta Leerdam has a lot to be excited about for sure. After all, she is a prominent figure in the world of speed skating. She's also determined to accomplish more as she eyes a return to Olympic ice at Milano Cortina 2026. As the Flying Dutch woman prepares for her second Olympics in speed skating, a lot has changed in her professional and personal life. Last summer, the Beijing 2022 silver medalist joined a new training base in a bid to win gold at the Milano Cortina 2026 Olympic Winter Games. Having grown up on ice, figuratively of course, Leerdam is certainly talented on it. Like many young women growing up in the Netherlands, she would skate on tracks around her hometown in Zgravenzende. From the age of 11, the former field hockey player enjoyed nothing more than racing down frozen surfaces. She turned pro in 2018 and immediately made an impact in speed skating. She won gold twice in the World Junior Championships in 2017. From there, her career took off. Leerdam has won gold four times in the European Championships, twice in the World Sprint Championships, and on another four occasions in the World Singles Distances Championships. In total, Leerdam has won 22 medals. In 2020, she won her first major individual title at the European Championships, despite nursing an injury. In the same year, she also helped the Dutch squad retain the team sprint title at the 2020 World Single Distances Championships in Salt Lake City, USA, and added gold in the 1000 meter. Leerdam, now a six-time world champion, still feels she has yet to fulfill her potential. Winning silver at the Beijing 2022 Games confirmed her status as one of the best skaters over the 1000 meter but her time fell short of the standards she had set for herself. And so, unsurprisingly, she wants more at the Milano Cortina Games. Of course, she has to train hard for it. Notably, she made a huge career step in 2020 by leaving Team Regeborg and setting up Team Worldstream with her then-partner Coen Vervage. Two years later, the rising star joined the Jumbo Visma skating team where she had to share the limelight and attention of head coach Jack Aurier with other Dutch aces like Jorrit Bergsma and Thomas Kroll. That collaboration ended last April, and Leerdam initially decided to head into the new season without a coach. I decided to go solo this year, a decision that turned the past few months into a tunnel vision, focus on improvement and being a better athlete in every aspect every day. She wrote in an Instagram post. It was also through it that she announced that Kafra Housing is her first and new launching partner. I truly appreciate them for their trust and commitment in this early stage, she wrote. Just a reminder, choosing the different route is challenging and change might be scary sometimes. Just remember, sometimes it's needed to get to a better level than ever. For those who didn't know, Team Novus is led by former top skaters Michael Mulder and former Australian Daniel Gregg, who alongside Poltovets, had already guided her during her time at Team Worldstream. At Novus, she now works out with other sprinters like Dione Voskamp and Naomi Verkirk, while enjoying the challenge of training with men too. She is a very strong athlete with good motivation and a top sports mindset, Gregg told Schatzen. Yuta raises the average level of the training group, which allows everyone to strive for a higher level. With winters coming, and with it, ice sports are back into the fray. Sizzling cold equipment creates a thumping sound when skaters jump on the ice, and some performances with flair are on the horizon. And at the center of all this traction is Yuta Leerdom, who is back in training. Last month, Leerdom turned to her Instagram handle and shared a clip of her warming up and a few snapshots of her sprinting on the ice. The caption read, Getting inspired, improving, inspiring. The accompanying clip showed the speed skater meeting young female fans who look up to her and always meet her with enthusiasm. Season is coming up, she wrote in another post, and she was ready for it too. In fact, Yuta Leerdom has been on fire during the opening weekend of the skating season in Heronveen. The renowned Dutch speed skater has already won two events and has made a strong case for herself. 
in the upcoming 2026 Winter Olympics. While competing in the World Cup qualifiers, she won the 500-meter race and also secured the first spot in the 1,000-meter race. She posted several pictures from both days and wrote, two wins, 100% score. Fans found it hard not to notice the fact that Leerdam is skating without a commercial team this season. She also assembled her coaching team by herself and is not dependent on anyone. The 2022 Winter Games silver medalist has been on a path to change the color of her medal into gold, and in the 1000 meter, she does not need a commercial team. With her recent performance and her performance throughout these qualifiers, it is evident that her way is clearly working. A few days ago, she won the 500 meter, and a day later defeated Angel Daleman to secure a first place finish in the 1000 meter as well. These performances have motivated the Dutch skater as she feels that she can rule the 1,000 meters again. I first thought that I would need more time, but I feel strong in terms of form and strength. Well, according to a post she shared on her feed, Jutta Leerdam was the queen of the sprint events at the WCKT. She won both the 500 meters and the 1,000 meters in a full thialf. At least that's what Google Translate has to say since the post was in Dutch. As can be expected, she received a lot of love and support from friends and fans alike. After all, Jutta Leerdam has been on the rise both on and off the rink, with the Dutch speed skater amassing a tremendous amount of followers on social media while continuing to be one of the best on the ice. So far, 2024 has been a success, with Auta taking the gold medal in the 1,000-meter women's race during the ISU European Speed Skating Championships, adding to her trophy case that includes a silver medal in the same sprint during the Beijing 2022 Winter Olympic Games. Do you know who else expressed their pride for her recent achievements? Jake Paul, of course. After Yuta clinched victory in the 500-meter race at the Netherlands World Cup Qualification 2024, Paul took to Instagram to celebrate Leerdam's latest achievement by sharing a heartfelt post after she won the race. He posted a photo with the caption, My baby won the 500 meter. So proud of you. Obviously, the feeling is mutual, although Leerdam will not fly to Texas to support her boyfriend Jake Paul during his fight against Mike Tyson. She did, however, confess her apprehension for her boyfriend's upcoming fight with Tyson. The Olympic speed skater candidly expressed her thoughts on Paul's impending match against boxing legend Iron Mike, succinctly stating, he's scary, he's just scary. The silver medalist also voiced her concerns about whether Paul's relative lack of experience compared to Tyson's lifelong immersion in boxing. Despite her confidence in Paul's ability to triumph over Tyson, Leerdam acknowledges that Tyson's body has been conditioned to train and compete at an elite level for many years. The 25-year-old reiterated her anxiety leading up to the fight, labeling Tyson as super strong. And so, during a BSW slash Jake Paul podcast, she told her boyfriend, I think you're going to win, but he's the competitor. That's what scares me the most. Watch this to see what other athletes are doing now.